Hello everyone, this is another video regarding Cisco 891FW and in this video what, what we're going to do, we're going to give a name to the host uh, configure the interface so we should be able to access the internet and this router is actually connected to my home network so the public IP address is assigned to my ISP provider but in this scenario what we're going to do we're going to connect this router directly to the ISP router so that won't be a public IP address but anyway idea is exactly the same it doesn't really matter it's just a question of IP addresses the range of IP addresses but that's that's not the case anyway as you can see there is no name on the device so what we're going to do, we're going to give a name So this uh, command exec timeout zero zero allows me to stay log in, logged in into the router for eternity so I never be logged out. It's a very handy command. I'm using this very often, especially, especially when you have to configure uh, the device and need to put a, a lot of commands on it and uh, this actually will keep us connected and never be logged out so it, it's, it's, it's very helpful and uh, it's good to remember that command it's okay so we got this and now we're going to configure the WAN interface this uh, router has got a two WAN interfaces fast ethernet zero and gigabit ethernet 8 uh, rest of the interfaces are uh, interfaces actually connected or part of the switch and also there is another special visual interface which allows us to connect to the access point which is built into the device but anyway this is for another video right now what we're going to do we're going to configure the gigabit ethernet 8 and gain connectivity to the internet and check it if this actually works okay so internet interface gigabit 8 IP address we're going to use a DHCP server and we're going to open the port and now we should see it in a minute that this uh, DHCP server will assign IP address to this gigabit Ethernet uh, port 8 uh, there we are we got the IP address and now that let's check the connectivity ping Google DNS server and ping cisco.com that's it so we got the connectivity one more thing save the configuration okay configuration has been saved and now there's one more thing which I'd like to show you this uh, box actually is able to provide some power to the IP phones or access points it's got the four PoE ports so let me show you that show power in line so we've got four ports which belongs to the switch in total there are eight but four of them are 
able to provide uh, power to the devices anyway we will get there later so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that and see you on the next one thank you